Alright guys, back again with another quick uh, unboxing and a PlayAsia.com review. Uh, early March I ordered up a little uh, little package for myself, ordered up a couple games from PlayAsia.com. Now if you guys aren't familiar with this website, it's basically a Hong Kong based company that sells um, Asian versions of the games that you know we know and love over here. Um, a lot of times the Asian versions are cheaper than the North American versions. Exactly the same. Instructions are probably in Chinese or Korean or Japanese, but the game is in English. So a lot of times it's a good way to get some uh, some cheap alternatives. It's also a good place to get some Japanese games, which is what I ordered up here. Now I ordered this up early March, March 2nd, I believe, March 3rd, and it arrived today, April 1st. Um, it did take a month. It did take a little while to come here, but it is from Hong Kong, and I'm in Canada, so... No worries, it was only sent airmail. Um, one of the problems was they didn't include the province in my in my address. So that might have slowed things up by a couple days, but yeah, no big deal. Um, I was impressed to see a box, because my last the ma last package I got from Japan was just a bubble envelope. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed to see a box. Now I already opened this just because I wanted to, I couldn't wait basically. Um, yeah, everything was packed in a nice bubble sleeve. The first item I ordered was a second-hand copy of Final Fantasy VII, the Japanese version. came with the spine card, which was near mint. Actually, I did this bend. It wasn't my fault, but it was a near mint spine card. The case was flawless, which is really impressive, considering it came from Hong Kong. Um, yeah, flawless. Games are mint. I won't show you the back of my so well actually. Games are mint. Manual is near mint. No worries there. Everything's included. Really impressed with that. And I got this for a really good price too. It came in at under, I think it was under $28 for this game. Now you normally you can get these for about $30, um, but you don't get don't get the spine card and the case could be sketchy. Um, I also ordered up a sealed copy of Fighting Vipers for the Sega Saturn. Still sealed, no rips or anything in this. Case is not cracked. Give you a few screenshots on that. Basically a little fighting game. Paid four dollars and forty cents for this. Which I thought was a pretty good deal for a sealed Sega Saturn game. Japanese edition. And these didn't last too long. Um, Puko Cola Candy, which is another great service PlayAsia has. You can get a few selected uh, grocery items, candies and noodles and whatnot from Asia. These were dollar ninety maybe. So yeah, I just want to show off these games, guys, and uh, give PlayAsia a big thumbs up for their great service, great packing. Great website, guys. Go check it out. I'm not getting any money for this plug, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, great website. You can usually easily waste a half hour looking around their stuff. They have a lot of toys, a lot of anime stuff, movies, um, Asian music. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys, and check back here soon for some more unboxings.